Hi, it's Tony from Cassette Comeback. So, in today's video, I'm gonna try and do this all in one take, just to show that what I'm doing is genuine and it's not happening anyway, because I bought something off AliExpress. Naturally, it's a cassette-related item. In fact, as we can see, cassette players and recorders. Recorders and players, even. Value 27 US dollars, hmm. By the time this got into my hands, this stands to be about £28. So why have I bought another no doubt rubbish Chinese cassette player? Because I'm an eternal optimist that, I don't know, at some point they're going to actually be able to make a decent stab at this 60 year old technology. That will actually be able to do something with this 60 year old tech. So let me open this up. Let's have a look. This is covered in sellotape and sellotape and more sellotape this so uh, right yeah I, I can't even see where the where the box opening is it looks like a completely sealed unit and this is at the top yeah, okay it's down there let's just get mr scissors on it see if we can open this up better all right have a look right so Tamashi. That was the first thing I saw. Tamashi, Tanashin. Eh, are they, are they uh, actually getting close? But the other thing is Walkman cassette player. And they're actually using the word Walkman, which is a trademark of Sony. So fly near the wind there. And in fact, I saw that. And when I opened it up, when you see the pictures, you'll actually see that Oh, ah, now you see, right, let me just, uh, if we look at the picture where I thought I bought, the actual one which I bought actually had Walkman on it, look, but this doesn't. So, we've got a stop, a rewind, a fast forward, a play, and a record, and it's a microphone, it's got a speaker built in, but this is the thing. How do we open it? <laughs> Let's have a look. Right. I want to check the heads on it. I can't actually see if this... I want to see if this is actually a stereo or a mono. It looks... It looks mono again. Oh, great. And... Haha. <laughs> It needs batteries, which I <laughs> forgot to do. So I'm trying to do this in one take. And um, I forgot the batteries. Best laid plans of mice and men. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have some batteries now. So let's put the batteries in. Right, so let's have a look at this. This is a Tomashi F116 cassette stereo player and recorder see it says there stereo this is why i want yeah. okay obviously main charity five volts so it can looks like it can be powered off a usb c there the other way so it can so yeah it's auto stop it's not auto reverse if i press yeah like the power light comes on kapow um yeah, so there is a headphone out, there's a microphone in, obviously volume, and not a lot else to it really. It's got a speaker, um, hmm, yeah, so there we go. Let's have a look at the instruction is. Let's see what they say. Again, stereo cassette player recorder. This, this better be stereo. Right, read these instructions. Okay, dear customer. Select and find audio equipment just as a unit you've just purchased is on the start of your musical enjoyment. <laughs> oh, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Okay, so I can maximise the fun. Yes, yeah, slow volume, increase it, and once you've got it, yeah, leave it there. Okay, we've got the speaker, bra 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 bra. Okay, batteries are included. No, they aren't. There is a. There's no batteries included in my box. Let me just double check. Nope. I didn't get batteries included. Which is probably good because they're probably rusted by then. But anyhow. Um, I'll tell you, install the batteries. Okay. 
yeah you can put an AC adapter in there if you want that's how it works stereo stereo cassette player back out oh you, you, I'm hopeful I'm hopeful okay press the play button okay volume control fast forward rewinds okay stop button automatic start recording put a blank in plus record and play together okay listen to record okay recording from the microphone jack insert microphone not included it's okay okay yeah yeah okay notes volume control does not affect the recording level due to the lc circuit okay right protection against anti for radio okay ebook connection yep care and maintenance well to be fair for for what these are this is a fairly uh, in-depth decent booklet that didn't have laughable english in it from what i can see so there we go so this is as far as they're concerned a stereo so let's see if it is stereo because i'm curious to find out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my sony pcm d100 i absolutely love this piece of kit for recording stuff live and it's got all you know it's got lining uh, optical as well as lining normal analog it's got microphones in it's got line out optical headphones but these microphones again are just really good but what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to take a three and a half inch stereo jack i'm going to put it into the headphone socket on that there we go respect put it into the line in on this and i'm going to put this lovely 1990 sony hf in here if i can open the damn thing up yeah i had trouble before why, why did i have trouble there? Oh, oh there we go there we go broke it already broke it already just tried to open it up such as the quality of all the manufacturing stuff that this country makes right see if i can slot this back in no no it's it's right is that back in is that it, look, look, I'm trying, I'm trying to pull at this, and it is so stiff. Well, hey, it's such a stiff door, that. Anyhow, let's try this again. Right, so that's in. So what I'm going to do, because I don't know the volume level of this relative to this, um, I'm just going to record this uh, track from our old friend Gunnar Olsen again. I'm going to play it from here, I've pre-recorded this, I'm going to record it on here, you're going to hear it real time, I'm not going to, I'm going to have to uh, listen to it after I've played it through, so um, yeah, this is uh, experimental for me, but let's just play this, let's see what levels come up, and I'll adjust the level obviously, so that, um, so that it records for a decent volume for you, so let's play, so that's playing, let's get this recording, okay, it's recording oh and here we go right minus 20 let's turn up a bit
Okay, so I don't know how that whoops. Uh, I don't know how that sounded. You do, but I'm going to go and listen to the recording now, and I'll be back in a second. Well, colour me surprised. I'm going to say now that this is the best modern Walkman I've heard. Two reasons. One, it actually is stereo. Two, it doesn't have horrific buzzing from the uh, from the motor because I did have one of them them ones you know with the USB socket for digitizing straight to USB and the motor noise was horrific. Now. Let's just not get over excited here, right? I mean, this is still 27 quid. However, when I listened to the recording you listened to before, and I put, you know, I put put a decent pair of headphones in, um, it's a bit, it's a bit trebly. There's a lot of treble up there, but the bass is there. It was distorting a bit, and yeah, there's hiss because there's no Dolby. But I've tried several newly manufactured Walkmans in the hope that one of them might actually be okay sounding. I mean, in my mind, to put this in context, this to me sounds as good as a cheap Walkman from the 90s. You know, you know, like a Seisho if you're in the UK, a Matsui, even, even lower end Iowa, it's it sort of sounds that sort of quality. I mean, it's no Sony Boodoo Khan. Uh, and if you don't know what a Boodoo Khan is, go and look it up. I, I ain't got one. I wish I did, but I'll, I'll never have one at them prices. But anyhow, the point is, this is sort of the quality of a cheap Walkman from, from when Walkmans were still being made the first time round. So I'm actually pleased with this. I'll use this. I mean, I know it's 27 quid, um, but the thing is, even though it's a pain in the arse to open, and I almost broke it before. Um, the build quality seems pretty good. I like the way that it takes regular batteries. And it sounds all right. It's listenable. You've got to think, you know, when you listen to one of these on a, in a plane or a, on the bus or whatever, that's acceptable because you've got ambient noise anyhow that, that sort of drowns out the hiss anyway. Um, so I'm pleased with this. But right, let's not stop just there. Let's try some more features now that I'm happy that it's not a piece of garbage uh let's let's have a listen to the inbuilt speaker shall we let's see if uh see what we get out of the inbuilt speaker see what that sounds like so i'll pick it up on my lavalier mic over here in fact i'll move my mic a bit closer Turn it all the way up. Boom. It's done, this part of the song, the MP3, just sounds wow and fluttery. This isn't it being wow and fluttery. Gee, I mean, yeah, it's a tiny little. Sorry, let's put this lovely in the back. Yeah, it's it's a tiny little speaker. What do you what do you want? You know what I mean? Uh, let's let's see if if we can record my subtle tones to it. Where's the voice? Right, the mic's there. So let's just uh, record. Oh, there we go. Testing one, two, three, four. Round the ragged rock, the raggedy rascal ran. Hmm. My father's car is a Jaguar, and he drives it rather fast. Right, okay, let's see how that sounded. Testing, one, two, three, four. Round the ragged rock, the raggedy rascal ran. Hmm. My father's car is a Jaguar, and he drives it rather fast. Yeah, I mean, you could use that as a dictaphone. Um, do you really want me to try and record some music onto this and see what it sounds like? You do, don't you? 
Right, okay, let me just uh, go and queue something else up and we'll do some recording on it. Okay, I've got a bit of music here. I'm going to record it to the line, well, to the mic in here. I'm taking it from the line out of the Sony. So uh, it's not a full track, it's just, uh, let's just give it a try. Let's record there, play there. Okay, I'll just talk because what we'll do now is then I'll play it from here back into here so you can hear it. Yes, uh, guerrilla filmmaking. God, I wish I had some production values on this channel, but anyway. Okay, that's, that's probably enough. Right, let me just uh, find the place on the cassette, which I can do handily because it has a handy speaker in it. Let's rewind a bit. No, that didn't sound well. Okay, this is the other one. That's the old tune. Oh, no, we don't want me again. Oh, dear. Quality. Okay, right, there we go. Let's turn the volume down a bit on this. Take it from the headphone socket of this, put it into the light in of this. Uh, see if we can get the, the, well, I don't know what the levels are going to be, but let's just check it. So, new one, okay, get it recording. Okay, let's get this playing and you're going to listen to it now. Okay, that was probably enough. Um, did seem to record in stereo there as well because the levels were different. So, um, no, pardon me. Now I'm going to have a listen to it myself and uh, give you my opinion on it. The truth. Yeah, that that wasn't good. Um, I tried recording varying the volume output from the Sony into it, but it, it looks like it just records way too hot and it's all distorted and horrible. But I'm not bothered about that because I don't intend on recording music on this. You know, why would I record music on this when I have good decks? Uh, the reason I wanted to buy this is because I've had a hope for quite a while that somehow they will manage to make a decent sounding playback Walkman type cassette player thing. I shouldn't be using Walkman because like I say, it says it on the box, it's copyright. <laughs> but the thing is, and I've got to make it clear that I bought this myself completely by myself. I wasn't sent this, you know, to review unlike other recent Walkmans a couple of years ago, which were sent round for reviews and uh, didn't happen. And the one they sent out wasn't the finished product. But anyway, um, yeah, this is decent. If you can't be bothered finding an old Walkman and then hoping it works and having to get it rebelted, and you can't be bothered and you want to spend, like I say, it was £27 for me in my hand. If you just want to spend that for basically a disposable Walkman that actually sounds good, I am, ooh, I'm, I'm love to say this, but I actually recommend this because I think this is the best sounding out of all these modern Walkmans and little boom boxes and stuff that have come along. This sounds decent. Yes, it's a bit trebly, but hey, if you've got some like Beats headphones, uh, that'll soon crush your treble and give you loads of bass, won't it? Um, but it's a bit trebly. I've tried it with a Type 2. Uh, it seems to play with Type 2s again, they're a bit trebly, but you know, there'll be no switch to 70 microseconds, but they sound okay. But for something cheap, cheerful, the place tape's all right, in stereo, without massive motor noise, that's virtually disposable, that uses regular batteries instead of some 
bespoke battery pack that'll hold 10 seconds charge after about 10 charges. I think this is great. Uh, I'm really happy with it and I will actually use this because apart from, you know, when if you shake it while it's playing, it does roll, but then most did. I think this is the quality of uh, a cheap 90s Walkman. Well, not Sony Walkman, but you know what I mean. Cassette playback, portable cassette player. It's just like, you know, it's strange Walkman, isn't it? Like Hoover for vacuums. It's become the nomenclature. But yeah, I, I'm quite happy with my purchase there and I never thought I'd say this, but yeah, this is a decent modern portable cassette player. And it's worth the money if you are so inclined. But then again, your mileage might vary. But bear in mind, if you buy one, you know, what it is, how much it's costing. Like I say, don't expect the moon on a stick. But, yeah, I'm pleased enough with that. So, yeah, good job, Tomashi. I might look and see what other stuff you have in your portfolio. So, thanks very much for watching. A bit of a strange video there, but I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, happy taping. Bye-bye.